Hello, this will be part six of the no collusion by the Jehovah's Witnesses with the Nazis in 1933 or thereafter. Now, I promised you that I would provide you the reason why these apostates are claiming that the Jehovah's Witnesses colluded with the Germans, with the not with the Germans, but with the Nazis and the uh, Third Reich of Germany in 1933. Now, as promised, uh, I'm going to read a letter here um, that was written by an apostate. Uh, and as I told you, one apostate lies and the other apostates jump on it and swear to it. And that's a sad state of affairs because these apostates are liars anyway. Every single apostate's a liar. Every single ex-Jehovah's Witness is a liar. And uh, without further delay, this letter is written by Marvin James Penton, the Ph.D. Now, despite Mr. Penton's uh, protest, that he was the subject of a witch hunt and injustice because of his expressing his view about a religion he had once hailed as a champion of free speech, Penton was disfellowshipped or expelled from Jehovah's Witnesses on the grounds of apostasy in February of 1981. Now this apostate is where most of these apostates, in fact all of these apostates, get their information on the Jehovah's Witnesses colluding with the Nazis. They have no evidence, documents that support their position except this one. And this is not evidence at all. This is the opinion of an apostate. This is the opinion of a moron. August 11, 1995 to Milton G. Henschel, president of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. An open letter. Dear Mr. Henschel, yesterday I obtained a copy of the August 22nd Awake magazine with its articles on the Holocaust, who spoke out. On reading the articles in that issue of Awake, I was thoroughly shocked and disgusted. <laughs> Mr. Penton, you're not as dis you weren't as disgusted as we are of you. You're a loser. <laughs> Continue with the letter. The Watchtower Society has long attempted to cover up the most dishonest sort while your organization properly censures other religious communities for their compromises with and support of Nazism. It tries to claim that Jehovah's Witnesses and Jehovah's Witnesses alone never were guilty of such compromise. Yet, history tells a different story. The Erklerung, or Declaration, published by the Watchtower Society at the Berlin Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses in June of 1933, is in itself clear evidence that the Society's president, Judge J.F. Rutherford, and accompanied by Nate N.H. Knorr manifested anti-Semitism, hostility to Great Britain and the United States, and to the League of Nations. Furthermore, the Erklerung clearly states that Jehovah's Witnesses supported the aims of the Third Reich. That is a total lie. You just heard the, the declaration. There's nothing in there about the Third Reich. There's no support of the Third Reich, and there's no th support of the Nazism. See, this guy is a complete moron, idiot, and he's just, he, he, he's demons, he's a demon spokesman. In addition to the, going back to the letter, in addition to the Erklerung, there is a evidence of the Society's letter to Hitler sent on or immediately following June 25th, 1933. And the public statement made about the Berlin Convention of Conrad Franke and lectures throughout Germany some years ago. All of this I have made public in my work, Apocalypse Delayed, 1985, which I know has been read at the Watchtower headquarters, both from the court documents and inside reports, and in the spring of 1990 issue of the Christian Quest. So it is impossible for responsible members of your organization not to know the facts. 
Thus, the August 22nd awake is nothing short of a historical abomination. No, sir, this letter is the historical abomination. And you're stuck on stupid. And not even my brother, Henschel, Milton Henschel at the time, or any of the governing body, could have fixed stupid because you're just an idiot. Returning to the letter. I am aware of the feeble attempt of the 1974 yearbook of Jehovah's Witnesses to exculpate Judge Rutherford and the Watchtower Society in Brooklyn by claiming that the Society's German branch overseer, Paul Belgerich, weakened the declaration, but the declaration or declaration was published in both the German and English versions of the 1934 yearbook of Jehovah's Witnesses as an official statement of the Watchtower Society. So it is impossible to believe that it was not sanctioned by Rutherford and the man who succeeded him as the Secretary's President, Nathan H. Knorr. Therefore, the leadership of Jehovah's Witnesses of that time attempted to commit what amounted to spiritual whoredom with the Third Reich in the fashion of the two sisters, Ohala and Ohalaba of Ezekiel 23, according to the Society's own teachings. Poppycock! Boy, this moron goes out on a limb here, doesn't he? It's no wonder my brother uh, Milton Henschel never responded to this dipstick. Although, back to the letter, although I do not expect an answer from you, nor do I want one, to make certain that you personally are aware of the facts, I am sending you the following materials. I'm not going to go through the materials there he sent. They're all stupid. Not the materials of themselves, but the way he tries to declare this and, and claim that. It's all ridiculous. Since I am well aware that the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses, of which you are a senior member, is carrying on what amounts to a big lie campaign, one, to make Jehovah's Witnesses appear to be God's faithful and discreet slave class on earth, and that's not what we attempted to do, nor was it an attempt of the Declaration. And two, to discredit other religions. Well, they do that themselves. The other religions backed Hitler, and that's a proven fact already in history. There's no proven fact that Jehovah's Witnesses ever backed Hitler, and there's none here. Back to the letter. A professional historian, and as a Christian who believes that God has no need of our lies, yeah, God has no need of your lies, moron, <laughs> I feel forced to expose the facts to the general public. What facts? He has no facts here. Folks, come on, you just read it. You read the letter, the 1933 letter, and you read the 1933 uh, declaration. There's, nothing, there's no support in there for the Third Reich or the Nazism. This guy's a total moron. <laughs> I feel forced to expose the facts to the general public. Hence, I'm sending copies of this letter, plus the above listed documentation, to both religions, religious and secular publications throughout the United States and Canada. How'd that go for you, pal? It didn't go very well for you, did it? Because you're a big fat liar. I will, of course, also make them available to persons in other lands so that they may be made known wherever possible. In closing, Mr. Henschel, I would beg the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses who carry heavy, res heavy responsibility before God and humankind to come clean and admit the facts. Hypocrisy and falsifying the historical record are serious sins, as I am sure you are aware. Sincerely. M.J. Penton, Ph.D., apostate. Romans 13, 1 and 2. Let every person be in subjection to the superior authority. This is mine, by the way. This is not part of the letter. For there is no authority except by God. That's all we did. 1933, 1934, all the way through. It is the Jews and the Catholics that were behind the false claims that the Jehovah's Witnesses were known as the Bible researchers were communists supporting communist, fascist, socialist regimes. There you have it, folks. That's it in a complete nutshell right there. These apostates, this moronic ex-JW elder's wife, Jane Duh, 
and this passing cloud and the rest of these dipsticks are liars. My brothers have never sided with the government on the face of this earth and will never side with one. But, by the same token, according to Romans 13.1, we have to be in subjection to these superior authorities until, until these superior authorities go against Jehovah God. We will be in subjection to them. But once they cross that line and they go beyond what Jehovah God says, we will reject them and we will not abide by them. Thanks for watching these videos and have a nice day.